So MakeLure.com has made a short road trip over to see a good friend of mine, Master Bensky, who recently acquired the uh, original Swimways and is actually producing them right here in the States. Nice to see you again. Good to see you, Mike. Tell me what, what you've been up to here. Well, since the beginning of the year, we just acquired the original Homer LeBlanc Swimways line. Okay. Homer originally developed this lure over in Lake St. Clair, not yeah. only to catch muskies, yeah. but to catch pike, bass, tarpon down in the ocean. Yeah. And right now we got people over in Lake Michigan catching coho, catching kings, nice. and, and over in the ocean on the east coast catching strikers. It's doing real well. That's great. Great. So tell me about the products themselves and, and where Make Lure has been helping you. Well, we have over 52 colors right now on the line. Yeah. And we have four different sizes. Okay. The original sizes, which is an 8-inch straight, an 8-inch jointed, 6-inch straight, 4-inch straight. Okay. We're using your materials to prototype some jointed, smaller lures. Okay. And it's working good. Okay. As you know, injection molding costs a lot. Yeah. So before we go to an injection molded item, we want to be able to build some lures, test them, make sure they work correctly. Sounds good. Well, let's walk them through kind of how you've been doing it. That sounds good, Mike. Let's do that, and then we will do a little water test today. Oh, I love it. All sounds right. good. Build up to the parting line using Alumilite synthetic modeling clay. Continue to press the clay around the part to the midway point where you want the two halves of the mold to split. Smooth the clay out. Trim the clay down to where you need the mold box. The lead edge where the clay hits the part is critical, as this will determine how clean the parting line will be. Spend time smoothing it out, and then trim the clay around where your mold box will be. Now construct a mold box. Here we're using Illuminate's corrugated plastic strips. Glue and seal the mold box down to prevent the silicone from leaking out. Here we're using the back end of an X-Acto knife to press locators into the clay. This will help align the two halves of the silicone rubber mold. Here we're using Illuminate's High Strength 2 silicone mold making rubber to mix and pour the first half of the silicone rubber mold. Allow the silicone to cure overnight. Once the silicone is cured, flip the mold over remove the mold base and begin to remove the clay but do not remove the fishing lure from the silicone mold that you just poured. Continue to clean the clay off of the mold and off of the original until it is perfectly clean. Use the Lumilite's carving tool to cut locators into the silicone rubber mold. This will help the two parts align. Use the Lumilite's UMR to mold release thoroughly the silicone. This will prevent the silicone from bonding to itself. Mix and pour the second part of your silicone rubber mold. Once again, allow it to cure overnight and remove your original piece from the mold. Now you have an exact mold of your originals. Determine where your pore holes and vent holes will be in the silicone. Then using your razor blade, cut your sprue holes and vent holes.
With good locators, electrical tape will be more than enough to hold the molds together. You can also use clamps or permanent mold boxes. Measure out equal amounts of the A side and B side and add micro balloons. Mix the micro balloons individually before pouring both parts together into a third cup. Mix thoroughly. and pour into your mold. Once you've filled the molds completely, gently squeeze from the bottom to burp and assist any air bubbles in reaching the vents and the pour hole. Allow the resin to cure for approximately 10 minutes, remove the tape, and demold your cast piece. While the material is still curing and fresh out of the mold, it trims very easily. Remove the flash and use a razor blade or sharp knife to clean the flash. To make a jointed bait, determine the different areas in which you want to splice the piece and then cut using a bandsaw. The first step we're using here is to put small pilot holes in the center of the body pieces. Then coming back with adhesive and larger eyelets to make the jointed lures. Link the joints and close the eyelets. We now have our constructed prototypes. Okay, as you can see our prototypes are complete. It's been real easy for us. We've just made these molds, cast the parts, and now we're ready to toss them in the pool. I don't think there's any fish in here, but boy, I'll tell you what, this lure is looking really nice. Wow. Mike, that looks like a live fish swimming. <laughs> Boy, is this a way? This is the way to prototype. Okay, we got two different style cuts here. One in front of the hook, one behind the hook. I think the one behind the behind the hook can run a little bit deeper than the one in front. That's the only difference with these cuts. So we've tool tested these lures. Now we're out on the lake. We've painted some up in some pretty bright pike colors. We're gonna see what we can do today. Matt's throwing a nice uh, red head and white body, nice traditional. I'm throwing a little uh, chartreuse with a black back. These things are really swimming well. We're out here to see if we can catch some northern. And Matt, not exactly what we're looking for, but man, I guess northern and musky aren't the only thing to like your swim with. Swim with works, all species. <laughs> all species, you got that right. Good job, Mike. That's a nice little largemouth. Yeah. Not too shabby. Here we go, Matt. Get him. Quick. 
device. Players real quick. This guy hooked the old double jointed swim whiz doing it. Double jointed swim whiz prototype. I think these are going to be good. 